Hey guys, just a quick refresher on plotting lines using our scaling equations as an example. So recall that the formula for a straight line is y equals mx plus b, where the m represents the slope and b the y-intercept. So if we use our scaling equations, um, it's a power law, and so if BMR is 63.6 .6 times mass raised to the 0 0.75 power, this is in fact not a straight line, it's a power law, so it's gonna look curved like that. But we can turn it into a straight line by transforming it simply by taking the log base 10 of each side. So if we do that, then we get something that looks more like the straight line formula Log, where the log of BMR is actually the y, and um, the log of 63.6 plus 0 0.75 log of mass. And so if we compute what this um, simplifies to using our calculator, we see that it's zero, uh, 1.80 and that's the y-intercept, okay? And then since the log of mass is our x variable, then that makes this 0 0.75 the slope. Okay, so that is something that we can plot on a straight line plot. Let's move this up here a little bit. Okay, so recall that the y-intercept is just the point along the y-axis where x is 0. So 1.80 means that it, we're going to go up the y-axis to about to 1.8. Oh, I hate it when it does that. So that is about here. Okay, so the slope is rise over run. And since it's 0 0.75, that's about 3 quarters. So that means we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. That's the rise. And then the run is over 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we connect the dots here, that is our straight line representing this equation here. And the slope is three quarters. Okay. So remember, um, so let's also plot our mass specific metabolic rate. Okay, so mass specific BMR. Okay, so that's our pound for pound equation. So if we take um, the equation and divide both sides by mass, we get um, times mass to the 0 0.75 divided by mass. And remember, this is just like mass to the one power, right? So then it's just a matter of subtracting these two exponents and we get BMR over mass equals 63.6 times mass to now, now it's gonna be the negative 0 0.25 because it's 0.75 minus one. So if we take the log of both sides of that, we get log BMR over mass equals the log of 63.6 minus 0 0.25 log of mass. So what do you notice about these two equations? Actually, the y-intercept is the same. <laughs> and the only thing that's different is the slope. OK, so if we were to plot that, what we get is, um, let's plot it in a different color let's say green, so same y-intercept, okay, but now instead of um, three-fourths, it's 
negative 0.25, and so that's going to be negative 1 quarter. And so the negative means we go the opposite direction. So we go down 1 and then over 4. So down 1 over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now our straight line is going to look like this. Okay, and this is our mass-specific metabolic rate line. Okay, so what do you notice? Well, for the whole animal line, we see that as animals' uh, mass goes up, BMR goes up, but it's not one-to-one. -one. Okay, it's it's increasing, BMR is increasing more slowly than mass. But for the mass specific metabolic rate, as mass, whoops, whoops, mass, uh, BMR over mass goes down. Okay, so what that means is that. As animals get larger, it's cheaper to keep them alive because BMR increases more slowly than mass. So pound for pound, they're a bit more efficient. Um, okay, great. So let's uh, just do a little bit more and let's get back to the example that we were starting in class. So let's see. Okay, so remember, um, logs are just, log base tens are powers of 10. So, and, and so, okay, and don't forget, so this is log, um, these are units of log grams. Well, ma the original mass is in grams, so the log of mass is going to be in log grams, which is a little weird, I know, but... Um, my point is, don't forget the original units that this is in. Um, this is the relationship for BMR in joules per hour and mass in grams. If you change the units, you're going to get a different equation, okay? Or if you use an equation that was calculated in different units, um, you can't just swap out the units. That's just going to be nonsense. So make sure you use the correct units for the equation that you're referencing. Okay, so um, these so these are the log values here along the line. And so 0 means that it's 10 to the 0, which is 1. And 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 to the 2 is 100, and so on, all the way up to, this is a million. And then 10 to the seventh is 10 million. Okay, it's 10 to the seventh power. Okay, so in our, in our problem, we had a 100 gram mouse and a 10,000 kilogram elephant. So the first thing you're going to want to do is convert these two things into the same units. And so let's just um, convert everything to grams because anyway, that's what our equation is in. So 10,000 kilograms is going to be how many grams? Well, it's 10,000 times 1,000 grams per kilogram, right? So that these cancel and so what you get is 10 plus three zeros plus three more zeros so that equals 10 to the what that's 10 to the seventh okay because we have one two three four five six seven oops yeah and 100 is 10 to the second, to this 10 squared or 100, 10 times 10. Okay, so what you see here is that this is a difference of five orders of magnitude. Um, so 
so how can we use that? So that means that we are um, going from oops, here to here, five orders of magnitude. Okay, so if we go back to the um, mouse and elephant problem, so we never did say exactly how much the mouse ate, but we know its mass is 100, and we want to know how much food does it require. So let's say this is x. So then the question is, how much does the elephant, how much do we need to feed the elephant? Okay, so how did you figure that out? Some of you said that you calculated um, using this ma mammalian equation, um, which is great. What would, what would be the answer? Okay, so for, um, if you apply this equation, uh, BMR equals 63.6, times mass to the 0 0.75, and we assume mass equals 100 grams, what we get out is BMR equals 2,011 joules per hour. Okay, now what if, so the elephant is 10 million grams, okay? So if, if it's 10 to the seventh grams, we get, so this is the mouse, and this is the elephant. BMR is gonna be 11,309,857 joules per hour. Wow. Okay, so we already said that there's five orders of magnitude between the mouse and the elephant. So that means that um, there's 10, there's five. Okay, so it's a hundred, there's a hundred, so the elephant weighs 100,000 times more than the mouse in terms of mass. But what about metabolic rate? Okay, so how do, you, how do you figure out how much food the elephant needs? Well, what you know is that it's, or what you're assuming is that it's gonna be proportional to metabolic rate, right? So how much um, more does the, how much more food does the elephant need than the mouse? So if we take, if we divide the BMR of the elephant divided by the BMR of the mouse, we get, um, it's actually 5,000 624. Okay, so the elephant's metabolism is 5,600 is 5,624 times the mouse. So whatever the uh, mouse eats, it, the elephant is going to need 5,624 times that, which is pretty good, right? Because the elephant is 10,000 times heavier than the mouse. So it, it needs like way less food than if it was a one-to-one -one proportionality with mass. So don't just take the mass and multiply it. <laughs> okay, that's the lesson for uh, this. Okay, so you see how that works? Um, yeah, another way, um, if you didn't use the, um, the entire equation, but you just remembered that 
the interspecific scaling is a approximately proportional to mass to the 0 0.75 kind of a quickie shortcut way to get the same answer and this this is the right answer here um, is just apply just this part of it okay so if you know that the that the difference is five orders of magnitude or 10 to the fifth, then, um, right, or that's 10, 100,000 times, then you just take um, 100,000, oops, and raise it to the 0 0.75 power, and that actually turns out to be 5,623. So it's this is how many times more food you need to feed the elephant relative to the mouse. So isn't that cool? So anyway, the lesson here is just that um, there's a scaling with mass. Okay, this is the scaling equation for mammals, specific to mammals. But um, in general, metabolic rate does not increase with mass on a one-to-one -one level. It's usually more like 0 0.75. Um, so that means that as animals get larger, their metabolic rate doesn't increase as fast, okay? Um, yeah, and so remember that if you're gonna, if something is going to be proportional to metabolic rate, you need to take that into account. Um, be sure to use the correct units and then just like work out the logic and you will be totally fine. So that means that if you just assume that the food was proportional to mass, you would have fed the elephant 10,000 times as much food as the mouse needs. But if you actually calculate the food instead of proportional to mass, proportional to metabolic rate, then the elephant's metabolic rate relative to the mouse is only 5,624 times, which this is much, much less than 10,000, <laughs> okay? So um, the zoo does not have to go broke keeping elephants. That's another lesson. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, if you got this answer, that's fantastic. You're totally right on. Don't worry if you don't understand my little cheat here. That's okay. But it's just kind of a fun extra. Okay, so see you in class. Take care.